Hey, hope. I hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is. But enough of the introductions, though, because what we've got served on the slice of life today is an assassination, or at least an attempt. Trump, the Republican leader and next president, who is very well known for making America great again with his policies and by just being a damn good person, even if the media doesn't like reporting on him doing nice things, I uh, recently saw a video of him putting a, his signature on a truck that was made in homage to him, and it was pretty epic to watch. But, unfortunately, no good deed goes unpunished. But, thank goodness that evil didn't win today, cause that punishing was done by an assassination attempt while Trump was giving a great speech, no doubt. Now, the bad news is that there is good news in this bad news. There was an attempted assassination, which is bad, of course, but then the good news is that he lived. But now I have to ask, where does this good ending leave us? Because, as I stated, no good deed goes unpunished, and we just ended the story off with a good piece of news. And this is where I bring up something that I suggest as being probable. Civil War. It is obviously the unwanted thing, but what else could this action be inferring for the future? This sure as hell isn't the first time some sh** like this has caused literal war, in fact. And I really don't want to be a monger or anything like that, because I understand that your mindset is the world you live, uh, if you think the world is trash, then the world becomes trash, but I just really don't know how else to look at this. Here. Uh, I'll show you the clip. Oh, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head, buddy. Sir, we gotta move to the car. Let me get my shoes. Okay, my shoes down. Let me get the shoes. Watch out. Crazy. Actually crazy. And I think Charlie Kirk puts it in such perfect words when he says, For four years, the left ranted and raved about stochastic terrorism, claiming Trump was egging his supporters onto random acts of violence. It was always a lie, and it was always projection. The left stoked an environment of hate and hysteria with their shrieking about the end of democracy. And today, we saw the end result of that. It just, it fits my words quite fittingly. The left has done nothing but say that our democracy is at stake. Meanwhile, they're driving crazy people into doing crazy things to get rid of the opposition. Like, tell me you're trying to get rid of the democracy without telling me that you're trying to get rid of the democracy. Now, of course, I don't know if this assassin was hired or anything. It was probably just some rando, but he clearly is so plugged into legacy media that he genuinely thought that Trump is an actual problem to where insane actions are necessary. Like, you don't just wake up one day and think, huh, I want to catch a charge or die today from the Secret Service. But I mean, in my opinion, this was only a test of time, because I've seen how crazy the left has gotten, and this unfortunately just seemed like most likely to happen. But then, 
here's the crazy thing, we've got Destiny, the Twitch streamer, not the game, making oh. jokes. But hey, dark humor is always accepted. But nope, I, I don't I don't think that's what is happening here. I just think Destiny is turning into Hassan 2.0 because I'm not sure if he's against the assassination attempt or rather for it. But I'm not going to give that crazy any more time and, or attention because he's melting down on Twitter for that good old attention. Uh, but before I finish this off, I just want to show y'all a clip that I thought was a pretty funny recap of the incident. They tried the Russia hoax. They tried to indict him. And now, of course, they can't beat him in the polls, and they know they're not going to beat him at the voting booth come this November. But the only option they have left is to shoot the man, because obviously they don't know how to f***ing win fair and square. So f*** Joe Biden, f*** the CIA, and anybody who supports this act of terrorism, so f cry to me about democracy and act like it actually exists, especially when you only have one choice, Joe f***ing Biden. Then you're left with only one option, taking out the individual that is going to beat Joe Biden come November. The government can instill all the fear they want, but the people are stronger because we don't give a f if I have no freedom. What the f*** is the purpose of living in the first place? And for those idiots in the comment section going, I'm unfollowing you, good. Unfollow me. I didn't ask your ass to follow me in the first place. So, I think to end this off, I just want to say that my prayers go out to the family of the lost life during this, and as well to the injured people, that being Trump and the audience member. And I honestly just cannot wait until Trump takes office. I, it is exciting to think of America becoming the great country it is with a great leader behind it. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent, conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way, though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.